Hey guys, this is Katsu here. Welcome to Minoka Midnight's, uh, I think this is our 8th vlog? Yeah, it'll be our 8th one. Okay, this is our 8th vlog. And I'm here with... Glenn Burke. And we have quite exciting news to talk about today. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard of this already, but for those who don't know, Persona 4 Arena will be one of the main games for EVO 2013's lineup. Yes! Yes indeed. It is a it is a very good day for anime. We're gonna be talking this vlog will be pretty Evo centric, just talking about what Evo is and all that stuff and how you can get involved with everything. So I'm gonna take it off I'm gonna let Glenn here talk about what Evo is exactly. Okay, well for starters EVO will actually be July 12th through the 14th, 2013, and it will be held at the Paris Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. And I just want to give you a little history about EVO. The Evolution Championship Series, EVO for short, represents the largest and longest running fighting game tournaments in the world. EVO events bring together the best of the best from all around the world in a dazzling exhibition of skill and fun. As players and fans gather to honor the competitive spirit in an open format and determine a champion. EVO events are open to anyone, feature many stations available for relaxed free play, and offer unique opportunities to meet people from different countries and different walks of life who share your same passion. Established champions face off against unknown newcomers and new rivals that might have talked or fought online, meet up and become old friends. And basically this is the largest tournament that the community meets at. This, you can consider this like the Super Bowl or WrestleMania if you will. It's like the World Martial Arts Tournament for fighting games, if you want to compare it to something. Indeed, and the great thing is you have competition from all around the world, from different countries such as Japan, Korea, Europe, everywhere. All over the world. Okay, I would like you guys to watch this video. It's a video showcasing the EVO experience. Enjoy.
the champ, the favorite, proved why he's the best in the world at Ultimate Ball Right now, yeah. And he's having a very emotional moment right now. You can't blame him. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Of course, that doesn't replace actually being at EVO, but that's just a little taste of what EVO looks like. Okay, now I'm going to pass it on to Katsu so he can talk more about the Road to EVO events. Alright, so the Road to EVO tournaments are essentially uh, tournaments that will earn you, earn you points to, be, to get a seated entry into an EVO tournament of whichever you place well in. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but um... So from my understanding, the way seating works is depending on how many seating points you have, it places you in a better bracket where you might have an easier time fighting opponents, whereas if you didn't have seating points you probably will run into a bunch of killers like Daigo early in the tournament if you were playing AE or something. You're, you're gonna get, you're gonna get Daigo real early and nobody wants that to happen. Yeah. The Road to Evo tournaments are the SoCal Regionals, which had just passed, the NorCal Regionals, which is Saturday, March 24th to Sunday, March 25th, the Ultimate Fighting Game Tournament 9, which is in Chicago, Illinois, May 24th to the 26th, and lastly, Community Effort Orlando, also known as CEO, which is June 28th to the June 30th. CEO is basically to see where you stand at EVO. Yeah, the coolest thing about CEO I noticed last year was Jabaley had a wrestling ring, and me being a big wrestling fan, that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I saw that on stream. Yeah, like, I believe it was um, top, I forgot which top, like 32, 16, that they were giving entrance music. Like, Yipes did the Goldberg entrance, that was tight. <laughs> Yeah, and, and the cool part about CEO and UFGT9 is right on me and Glenn's turf. Like, Chicago is, is Glenn's, Glenn's territory and Florida is mine, so I'll definitely be at CEO. Yeah, UFGT8 was amazing. I, I was watching the stream and it looks like one of the funnest tournaments I've seen. Even the Mr. Game was hype. <laughs> and Dive Kick, can't forget about that. Oh man, Dive Kick. Dive Kick is definitely going to be back at UFGT9. I, I, it's like, it will, UFGT9 would be weird if Dive Kick wasn't there. Yeah, exactly. And it's supposed to be an updated build. Yeah, a new build. Alright, so enough about the Road to EVO tournaments. What exactly does EVO mean for Persona 4 Arena, Glenn? Persona 4 Arena making it to EVO means that it has a chance to compete on the grandest stage possible. It also means that since it's released in August, it has a chance to have a huge tournament with the best of the best from all around the world. Now we usually see the competitors from Southern California and Northern California compete, but this tournament would have a chance to bring out the online warriors. And this may also encourage the obscure characters, you know, instead of just the top tier like Mitsuru, Aigus, or Chie. And Narukami. Yep, and Narukami. Yeah, you know, it'd be crazy if we just saw an Elizabeth player going around dealing mass destruction to everyone. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Just see, like, an Elizabeth make, make top 16, top top 8. That would be awesome. It would be even more amazing if it was a Naoto or a Kanji. Yeah, and I'm really happy I made it because it was funny. When we were listening to the evil announcements, Mr. Wizard kind of made Man, it. And Mr. Mr. Wizard trolled us so hard. <laughs> we were just sitting there like, is he going to announce Persona? What's going on here? Six games? Are we done? Man. And Mr. Wizard was like, no, there's a seventh game. And it is Persona 4 Arena. I, I, I freaking lost it when it got announced. I was like, ah, oh, Persona! <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know what this means. Everyone better show up to EVO and compete in a Persona tournament. Because you know how hard it is for anime games to come back, especially if they have a low turnout. Yeah, definitely. Um, it is at this point, it's a safe bet that I'm going to Evo. Um, 
Glenn's going to Evo too. Yeah. And a few other staff members from Lionock are going to Evo, so we'll, we'll all be down there. We'll, we'll keep you guys updated on the, on that regard on the forums. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to talk about like post Evo. So say that Evo for Persona was really great. You had like 600 plus entrants. It was really hype. And what about after Evo? What are you going to do now? The best thing you could do is support your scene and make sure that you keep Persona alive so that can, it can be at another Evo. Because you can't just let all this hype just die down and you play online all day. You really have to go out and show that Persona isn't some dead game. That it can be, it can ride with the big dogs like Marvel and Navy. And pretty much just support your scene, support the game, hype it up. Wear a horse head mask to events if you have to. <laughs> yeah, Persona definitely isn't dead. I know some people are going around saying it will be, but look on the bright side. We could be getting a European release for EVO. Yeah, it got the uh, it got the pay it got it got the Peggy rating for um, Euro, uh, for United Kingdom or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what the European rating system are. There are a bunch of them. Up. So yeah, it got it got rated for uh, Europe, so it'll be on its way pretty shortly. Yeah, we can't just keep the European players hanging because you know they have to play catch up before Evo and just in general. And who knows, this can actually make the community a lot stronger. We'll just have to see once they're able to get their hands on the game. And, but yeah, we're definitely going to be holding it down and supporting Mayonaka Forums, Mayonaka Midnight, keeping it strong. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to do some intense training montage. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to take this completely off course now. We're not even, we're, we're going to go from Evo to something completely different. And that is Impetus Soul. Um... Impetus Soul is a novel made by me, co-written by Glenn, and um, it is it has been a year in the making. Um, I've been planning this script for a really long time, and if it were for Glenn, I would have just given up from laziness. But yeah, um, there isn't much I can say about Impetus Soul that will be a spoiler. But uh, pretty much, Impetus Soul is about this knight named Zephyrid, who... He's a very loyal knight, he'll follow his orders without question. And throughout his journeys and adventures, he will face up, meet, and live through his destiny, which in a dream he had, someone had told him he would die from his destiny. So we're going to have to see what's up with that. Yeah, it's a, it's a really awesome story. I've pretty much been around it since the beginning. I've seen Katsu, you know, develop his characters, you know. I've gave my pointers, basically edit anything. So, it's coming out to be something that'll really look nice. Even I can't say how long Heaven of Soul will be, but it'll be a, it'll be a pretty lengthy novel. It'll span across several volumes. It's not going to be a one-hit wonder. Just like one volume, and that's it. So don't worry. Yeah, who doesn't like awesome fantasy novels? Um, you can read Impetus Soul on Fiction Press or Wattpad. You can check out the thread on Mayanaka. We'll put all those links in the description. So um, I also have a DeviantArt too, so you can check that out as well. All right, we're gonna wrap this up here. We don't want to keep you guys waiting for any longer. So. If you want to look up any EVO related stuff, you can check out evo.sureyoucan.com. Um, it'll have all the hotel accommodations, um, I think registration's coming up next month to register for tournaments and, and pay the venue and all that. Yeah, um, and I just wanted to throw in, yeah, make sure you take care of your stuff ahead of time, like EVO is not one of those tournaments that you want to pay for at the last minute if you don't have to. Definitely not. Yeah, because, um... Flights are probably cheaper right now, but when it gets closer to July, they'll probably be more expensive. And then, if you want to, the best experience for Evil is trying to get in the actual hotel. If you want to, you know, get 
access to all the players right away. Yeah, hotels are pretty expensive too. I think they run for about like five hundred dollars right now. You so you may want to have a friend share a room with you so you can split up the price. That'll make things a lot easier. Yeah, that's actually preferred because it it would be a lot boring if you just went there by yourself and had a five hundred dollar room to yourself. Yeah, register as soon as possible, get your hotel as soon as possible, book your flight as soon as possible. That, that's a really important one. Make sure you book your flight unless you're going to be brave and drive all the way to Evo. Or take a, take a train to Evo. Amtrak, I think, does it. I'm not, I'm not too big on trains anymore. I took a train to Florida and it was... My neck hurt really bad, let's just say that. Alright. Yeah, so that's everything. Um, make sure you check out the forums as usual. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and all that stuff. For Mayanaka's Ape Vlog, I am Kasuragi. And I'm Glimberg. Make sure you train up for Evo. Okay, guys, see you next time. Peace.